Hey guys, welcome back to another Vectors lesson. Uh, you're probably back because you enjoyed the first Vectors lesson or probably because you have to. But anyway, um, let's draw a vector to start off. So I'm going to draw a vector. And the first thing we're going to do is explain that a vector, so let's call this vector W, can be broken down into its horizontal and vertical components. So imagine this totally horizontal line that I'm drawing, um, horizontal meaning it's along the x-axis, and I'm going to draw a vertical line along the y-axis, a vertical vector, sorry. Okay, and I'm going to call the horizontal vector, let's call that um, just anything. Let's call it U, and let's call this V. And you can see here that we have two vectors, U plus V, so hopefully you remember how to add vectors. u plus v is equal to w in this example. So w is therefore equal to u plus v and u is the horizontal component and v is the vertical component. Okay and uh, let's now try to solve a real life kind of problem using this knowledge. Okay, so let's have a look at this really awesome problem. A car drives 30 kilometers east and then 40 kilometers north. Part 1 or Part A. Draw the vectors representing the path of the car. Okay, so pretty simple. I'm going to draw the vector. So let's say my car, let's draw a starting point for my car. So let's say my car starts here. Okay, this is the starting point of my car. Starting point of my car. And I'm going to drive east 30 kilometers. So I'm going to draw an arrow east 30 kilometers. So this is the 30. To the east. And then I drive north 40 kilometers. So north is upwards. So I'm going to start here at the head of my arrow. Going up north 40 kilometers. So that's part A done. We have vectors representing the path of the car. I drive this way, then I drive up that way. Draw the vector that represents the displacement of the car. Now notice how when we talk about displacement, we're talking about uh, how far or where the car is with respect to the original point. Okay, so the original point is here. The end point is here, so this is the end point. So from the starting point to the end point, the length of that and the direction of that is the displacement. So let's draw the vector that represents the displacement of the, the car. And let's call this vector W. And that's part B. Draw the vector that represents the displacement of the car. So that's vector W. What is the magnitude of this displacement? Okay, so question C. What is the magnitude of this displacement? And here is where we use Pythagoras theorem. We have a right angle here. And this is a triangle. 
So we can simply use Pythagoras theorem to figure out the length of vector w. So we have uh, the magnitude of w which is denoted um, vector w with two lines outside it like that that is the symbol for magnitude is simply 30 squared plus 40 squared and square rooted okay uh, I hope you guys understand Pythagoras theorem otherwise you would have no idea what I'm doing right now so look up Pythagoras if you are not sure why I'm doing that but basically I have three sides in a right angle triangle I have side A side B and side C and the equation says that C squared is A squared plus B squared so C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared and that's where I'm getting this from because C is the magnitude of W so uh, I'm now assigning 30 to A and 40 to B and using this formula to find out the length of W so the answer is 50 okay a uh, bit embarrassed that I had to work that out with a calculator actually because 3, 4 and 5 are Pythagorean triples but anyway so we have now done C and now um, let's find the bearing of the net displacement okay so the bearing means what direction is W traveling in so I want to find um, this angle okay so I have a straight line going up to the north and I want to find this angle here which is the bearing of um, vector W so the way that I work it out is I would find this angle first and uh, let's forget about this angle for a second so I'm gonna call this theta 2 and theta 1 so I'm gonna find theta 1 first and the way you would do that is you use trigonometry so I'm really hoping that you guys know this already so trigonometry we have the opposite side which is the side opposite theta and we have the adjacent side which is the side adjacent to the angle so according to that we have tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent okay and the opposite side in this case um, is so we have theta 1 and the opposite side in this case is 40 and the adjacent side is 30 so solving this equation I would do inverse 10 on the right hand side and that will tell me what tangent theta equals inverse 10 uh, 40 over 30 and the answer is 40 uh, 53 degrees 53.1 degrees okay so now we have successfully complete completed the problem hopefully oh hang on so theta is 53.1 degrees uh, so we can either say the bearing is the bearing of W is 53 degrees 53.1 degrees north of east or we can say that the bearing of W the bearing of W is and then um, we can find theta 2 
which is going to be 90 degrees minus 51 so theta 2 is 90 degrees minus 53.1 which is uh, what's that 36.9 so 36.9 degrees true true meaning uh, from the north okay I hope you guys understood uh, what we're trying to show you today. See you guys next time.